Dear learners, in this Android Studio video tutorial, I am going to show you how to download and install Android Studio on Windows 10 and Windows 11 operating system. Now, in order to install Android Studio on Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system, you need to have Java on your operating system. That's why, first of all, we are going to learn how to install JDK Java on Windows and then we are going to see how we can download, install and set up Android Studio on Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system. So, let's start. Open Google Chrome browser or you can choose any browser. Search by typing Java AC Development Kit. Click on the first link which will appear here will be from rockhall.com. You can see Java 22, Java 21, Java 17 are available for download. Click on Java 21. Scroll down. You will see the options Java for Linux, Mac and Windows. I am going to select Windows. Now click on the link in front of the 64 bit installer option. Download has started. After completing download, just click on this folder or minimize the browser. Now click on this PC, go to download folder. Here is the downloaded file. Now double click on this file. Installer window. Click on next. Here is the default location path. No need to change. Click on next. Wait some time. Now click on close. Java installation is finished on your windows. Now go to environment variable. Now click on path, click on edit, then click on new. This is the place where you need to add Java installation path. That's why go to Java location where java is installed click on bin and copy the path until bin folder and paste this path environment variable window click on ok Now we need to set Java home environment variable. Click on new. Type Java underscore home. And go to the Java location where Java is installed. And once again copy the path until Java JDK version. And paste this path here. Now click on OK. Once again click on OK. We have successfully installed Java and set environment variables. Now you can check it through a command prompt. So for that open CMD. Now type Java space hyphen version and hit enter. Right now, you see Java version 21 in my case is created. In your case, this version can be different. Now we are ready to install the latest Android Studio version Koala in 2024. So for that, open your Google Chrome browser once again. Then search for Android Studio download by typing download Android Studio. From the search result, 
click on the first link you see the android version is koala at the time of making this video you can see other version by clicking release note option right now you see the latest android studio version koala and older version uh, you need to scroll down to see more older version go back to the download phase On download Android Studio Koala button. We have to read these terms and condition. Scroll down. Click on checkbox. Click on download Android Studio Koala 2024. Once again, you say download has started. After completing download, just click on this folder otherwise minimize the window click on this pc go to download folder now you see the android studio executable file here click right click on this file click on run as administrator you will see the android studio setup window has been started click on next from here if you use android virtual device to test android studio app select this option otherwise no need to select this however i am going to select this to show both method click on next just leave it as default click on next now we need to click on install button you see installation process has started it will take some time installation was completed successfully now click on next which is going to show Android Studio setup window. From here, click on finish button, which is also going to launch Android Studio on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system. Now, click on don't send from here. It will work automatically. Here is the welcome window. Click on next from here select a standard option click on next uh, leave it as default click on next also leave it as default click on next uh, you have to accept license agreement and click on finish right now also once again you need to wait for some time if you want to see what's going on in the installation process just click on show details button when installation process is complete click on finish button which is going to launch android studio on your windows 10 or windows 11 operating system right now you see welcome to android studio window from here we will create new project now select empty views activity and click on next from here i will give the new project name my first app then you have to select language i am going to select java you need to select minimum SDK version. I am going to select API 22. And from here, select Groovy for Java. Now click on finish. You see the new downloading window is appeared because SDK 34 version is needed to build this project. Now click on finish. now you see the project creation has started just click on allow access from here for the first time when android studio is created it will take some time to download and install all files related to project so we need to wait for some time until you can see the project structure here the project is successfully done now we can see 
what's new in the latest android studio version koala just click here to minimize the sub window you can see two default files here now i am going to expand the project folder click on app folder then click on java and here is the java then click on res folder then click on layout folder and here is the activity main.xml file now i am going to change the text hello world to my first app you can see this text when your app will be opened in emulator now click on run button which is build your first app you can see the notice intel ace axm is required to run android virtual device don't worry click on ok just leave it as default click on next and click on finish you can see the notice once again at this time click on close and minimize the window now go to control panel now click on programs programs and features click on turn windows features on or off scroll down you need to enable hyper v click on checkbox and click on ok restart the computer open android studio again it will be a start with our previous project now click on again run button click on allow access this time the project build process has been started emulator also has been started right now you need to wait for the build to finish you see my first app is launched successfully on my android emulator So this is how you can download, install and set up Android Studio Koala on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system in 2024. Now I am going to show you how to run Android Studio app on your real phone via Wi-Fi or USB. So for that, at first open your Android Studio project. to test android studio app on your smartphone virtual device or real phone you have to enable usb debugging on your phone so for that go to your phone settings and scroll down find out developer options if you do not find any developer option don't worry scroll down and click on about phone click on software information and go to build version now seven clicks on build version to enable developer option on your phone you see developer mode has been activated now go back to your phone setting and you see the developer option click on this developer option new window is appeared scroll down you see the usb debugging wireless debugging if you enable usb debugging at first you have to connect to your smartphone with your computer through usb cable i am going to select wireless debugging so for that you need to enable wireless debugging click on wireless debugging you see two option go to your project select pair device using wi-fi you see here is the qr code and click on pair device with qr code now 
we have to scan QR code through your phone. You see, your phone is connected successfully. Here is your phone model. Now run this project once again. Close phone's window. Wait some time to build this project. Right now you see your project is launched successfully. And here is the name my first app. You can check it. Through phone home screen. Here is your app, my first app. Click on this app and it is opened. So that's it.